Okay, welcome back to the fourth and final part of this video. We're going to decorate the cover and maybe some of the inside pages. And, oh yeah, we didn't do any of the inserts, but I'm sure you can figure out inserts. I'll show you those when it's all finished. I'll take a picture and post it. But for now, this is my title. It says, so this is happy. I mounted it on chipboard and I did the edges with, or the corners with my stub um, thing there. So this is where this is gonna go. Well, I'm not sure exactly of the placement yet, but I took out a few of my stuff here and we'll see if we can find a good place for things. I think I like the camera, although there's a bunch of different kinds of cameras in here. I like that one a lot. It's little and I like it. Okay. I like that one the best of all of them. So I'm going to leave it at that one. For now, I just need to color it, and I'm thinking I will leave these out, just like that. Maybe I'll put a big gem in there. Okay, we'll figure that out, and then I have a whole bunch of flowers and some butterflies and then some trim. I was debating on using this trim here. I don't know if I like that or not, but I also have some laces and I have this which would be kind of pretty on there and I have this which would be neat since I have a flower theme going on there so let's see what we can come up with and I have some wood butterflies to color So, I guess, really, the first thing I want to do is get this up here. All I did was grab a whole bunch of stuff off my wall, and that's what I normally do when I don't know how I want to put something together. Okay. So let's start out with this little guy. And I want to paint him the same color that I used on my spine except this time I'm not gonna go for as bold so I sprayed I put the hot pink ink on there and then I put some of this primrose for the shine and then I sprayed it the rest of the bit with water so that it wasn't as bright or as shimmery, just tones it down a little bit. There we go. That's the perfect amount of shimmery, I think. Could be a little brighter, but it tends to soak into the chipboard, and this is a Maya Road chipboard camera. 
so it, you know how chipboard takes color especially when it's really watery like this but it's all right now I'm okay with the color I guess Now, let's dry it a little bit and see what happens. Oops. It ends up being actually a really pretty pink so and of course it's pretty shimmery let's see if you can see the shimmer can you see how shimmery it is there ignore the funky nails there <laughs> Okay, I just see a little bit of mist color here, right there. So, just try it one more time. There we go, and actually, I want to hit right here with just a little more of the color and the shimmer. There we go. Almost there. is a pretty color. Can you see that? Turned out to be a really pretty color, very shimmery, very perfect. Okay, so just wipe that up a little bit. Okay. Alrighty, now I have this big old bag of lace that I was thinking might work well, except I don't really like that. I need to gather it, I think, in order to like it, but... I don't know if I like it in white. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take just a little piece of it and I'm going to see if I like it dyed. Just color it like that. Then I'm going to spritz it with a little water and That looks good.
one thing that I really dislike about dyeing fabrics and lace especially is that it takes forever to dry and I don't like the way that pink looks so I'm gonna try one more thing here I'm gonna see if I like it this blue with it but we'll tone it down a bit with a tiny bit of water and then I actually like the color it's a very pretty shade but it doesn't quite match either but the two together look really pretty so I'm not gonna do that one in case you're wondering that color is called teal and these are the Heidi Swap color shines I believe I got them at Michael's. Alrighty. So, I think we're going to have to go with kind of like this lace here gathered with a little bit of this over it. That looks nice. Wonder though if I can dye that. Let's test it out. I think we'll do this one with the paintbrush again. Cause I like the I like the the, it needs the hot pink in it to match what I have going on with the rest of my stuff. And I also think that it would be the alcohol ink that dyes it. Anyways. And it did give it a little bit of a color. It's just a matter of what will happen. When we dry it. Huh. It did stay on there. See the color? Colored it nicely. So I suppose I could do that if I wanted to. But I think for now, I'm gonna live with it. We'll see how it looks like. Just clean up the mess there. Alrighty. And then let's grab this lace here and let's let's 
let's seal up the edges real quick here. Okay. Then I need a needle and a thread. Da -da -da. Here we go. I could gather it with just by putting it in the hot glue and pulling it together, but I generally think that it looks better if you gather it with a needle and thread because it looks slightly more natural. And I clearly don't have any white, so we're going to have to use pink and hope it doesn't show too much. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. Now, I did not cut it. I didn't cut the lace because I don't know how much I want to gather this. So what I'm going to do is just keep the book here, start it under, and then I'm just going to do big giant stitches semi close to the top but not right at the top and then I'll be able to see how close how I want it gathered as I do it Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. Sorry about that. You know, you wouldn't believe it today, but I used to sew all the time. I used to sew clothes for my daughter. Like, daily. And now it seems I have forgotten how. Okay. Just keep going here. This is also a good way to make a flower. You just keep going until it comes a circle. I think it might be too much lace. Maybe I'll just try to make a little ruffle to go underneath the tag. Or underneath the title, I mean. Like that. And then you can stick that right there like that. And then I could stick the title right on top of it so the title is coming out of there, it looks like. I think I'll do that because I like that better than having the whole side there be covered with this big of a lace trim. This really is a big 
lace trim. Just tie it off here. And then trim, and I didn't care that I closed it off on the top because I'm not going to see it. Okay. So now I've got that, which will go right there, like so. And then I'll put this on top of it, like that. And then coming out from underneath, I'll put some flowers and mayhaps my camera like that. Or maybe I'll stick my camera up here like that. I don't know. We'll move stuff around and see what we like. Okay. But for now, I know I need, I'm going to need, so this doesn't try to go down like that. I'm going to need a little more stuff up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down a layer of hot glue, which I'll allow to cool and harden and then it'll give me a nice layer to work with. If I didn't want to do that I could always just put another bit of um, hot glue there too but I think I like this idea. Okay. So now I need to decide if I want to put something along the top there. So I don't like the yacht. Let's try this. I'm thinking I might like this. Just a little bit of shiny, sparkly trim there. That looks kind of pretty. And then we put the lace on top of it. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to put that there. Okay, and I'm going to put that away. I'm just going to run that along there, like so. I'm just making sure to do a really thin line of hot glue too and I'm not going to press really hard because I do not want it to seep out from underneath there because well then you'll be able to see it and we don't want to see the hot glue so don't press so hard there we go I'm loving this hot glue gun. I love that it doesn't have a cord. And I was afraid that because it was battery operated it wouldn't get hot enough. But it still gets plenty hot. So there's that. I'm going to cut this little bit of stuff off there. I'm going to cut that off the bottom. And now we have a nice shiny little trim there that doesn't add a whole lot, but it just gives a little tiny bit of decoration. Okay. 
And now that's hard. So we want to put this up here just like so. I guess we need another, we're going to have to pop this up a little bit more even. So I'm going to put another layer. It got hard. So I'm just going to squeeze another layer of glue right on top of that. And I'm going to let it sit again. I'll let it dry a little bit. And then that's going to be my title. I wonder if I want the title to be... Oh, I can't mess with that yet. I think I like the title being down here. Okay, then we need to pick some flowers. I've got some pink flowers and I've got some lighter pink flowers. These are Prima flowers. I don't think I want the dark ones. I just want the light, the two light ones. So we're going to put some of those on there. I also have these guys, but I'm not sure if that's going to be too much flower. We shall see. Okay. And then, is that all I want to do? I'll have my title here. And then, I'm going to need some bling to put inside there. Oh, maybe I should put a flower. Nah, then you can't tell. I'm going to put a big thing in there. Let's see what we got here. We have a few different bits and baubles here we can work with. So, first I've got these big ones, which I could put right in there. That looks really cool. I like that a lot, actually. It fit in there. Perfect. Yeah, I think that's the winner. I don't even need to try the rest because I like that. Okay. What I gotta do is figure out a way to keep it in there then. I know. I will put a little bit of this on there for now. Push it in there, and then, can you see how cool it looks? Looks neat, doesn't it? Looks like that's the lens. So, I'm happy with that. So that's the hat, that was easy enough. All I gotta do is put it on there then. Let's see if this is dry. Yep. And see if that's going to work. Yes, it will. Okay. So then, if I put that there and I put that guy there, do I like that? I probably should have made it a different color, like the teal color. But, oh well. Okay. So that guy's going to go there. That guy goes there. And then we're going to stick a couple of these f 
flowers in there. If I can get them apart, just stick one right there and one right there and all I'm doing is taking the metal part the green stem that connects it to the rest of them and I'm wrapping it around the tail of a paintbrush so that it will curl it like that. And I'll stick that one right there. And then I think I'm going to take this green off. Too much green on the rose there. Put that there. And we put that there. Like so. Perfect. And then I think we need maybe a little swirl to match that. Up there. Let's see here. Do we like that one? No, that's a little too much. But I like that one. Okay. So what we gotta do is then start putting this down. I want this right there. Stick that right there in the hot glue. Just like so. And I'm going to get another pink one. And again, I'm just going to wrap. Actually, you know what? This one, I'm going to cut it off. There we go. I don't want them all to have it. And then I'm going to put a little glue right there and a little glue along the top of that and then I'm going to stick this guy right about there and he looks good there I'm happy with that okay and then I just have to decide do I want that to come off there like that do I want to put it over here by itself? Do I want to have it just peeking out of the lace? Do I like it up there? And then I can surround it with flowers. So I'm going to put this right there like that. Then I'm going to curl this green stem like that. And I'm going to stick that guy right there. And I'm going to stick, nope, I think I want to stick that guy coming off there like that. And that guy's going to come off there like that. And then that one's going to come off there like that. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's 
first stick. This one right there. And then we want whoops. This one right there. And this guy right there. It's a really nice uh, hot glue gun too because if you work in low light or whatever it lights it up where you're gonna put it. See the light there? It lights up wherever you're pointing to. Okay, so now we have that, and that is what it looks like so far. Very pink, very girly, very pretty. And then, I wonder if it needs it. No, does it need another one over here? No, I like the three. Okay, so now we got that. Let's put on our. Let's put on our sparkles because we can't have a project without sparkles. We need sparkles. And then this help ties in the gems from the There we go. I like that better. Coming out of there. That looks good. Okay. Helps tie in the big sparkle that we have on there. And there's our book cover. What do you think? You can see the sparkles there very faintly. It's pretty. Simple, but pretty. I like it. So this is happy. And I put a little camera because I am happy when I'm taking pictures. I love taking pictures and I'm happy when I'm with my family. So this is the perfect Mother's Day book. So there we have it. I'm going to decorate the inside pages on my own, but I will share it when it is all finished. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something that was helpful. And again, if everyone, if anyone knows where I saw, who I saw do that binding method, please let me know so I can credit them. Alrighty. Have a great day.